Phone calls, text messages, knocks at the door. Yep, over the past several weeks, people who want to see the North Carolina Green Party on the ballot say that they've had people show up to their homes trying to talk them out of it. Capitol reporter Michael Hyland has more. Let us vote. Let us vote. As members of North Carolina's Green Party push to be on the November ballot, they say Democrats are trying to stop them. After the party worked to get enough signatures to qualify, Ahmed Salim says his wife got a call from someone claiming to be with the Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee. And they said to her, do you know what your petition does? It's going to make the Republicans win. We can't have that. Are you sure you want to do that? Ryan Parker had a woman claiming to be with the state Democratic Party show up at his house. She said this a couple of times that you realize that this hurts Democrats and uh, helps Republicans. The Democratic groups have not responded to requests for comment. The State Board of Elections says there's a criminal investigation into the legitimacy of the signatures the Green Party collected. And Democrats on the board recently voted against allowing the party to be on the ballot due to that investigation. If they had sufficient signatures by the date, uh, I personally would be supportive of them being on the ballot. The Green Party is sued, given that ballots have to start being printed next month, saying they have enough valid signatures. Matthew Ho is the party's candidate for U.S. Senate. Republican Ted Budd and Democrat Sherry Beasley are sure to draw significantly more votes. NC State political analyst Andy Taylor says with control of the Senate at stake, Republicans and Democrats are trying to hang on to every vote they can. With him on the ballot under the Green Party label, uh, that it could make a difference. It makes sense that they would be really, really um, working hard to keep the Green Party off the ballot. Well, that was Michael Highland reporting. The federal judge who's been assigned to this case has not scheduled a hearing just yet. The Board of Elections says that in one county, they had 38 people come forward saying that they did not sign a petition that their names appeared on. The question is whether the Greens uh, still got enough legitimate signatures to move forward.